What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Possum's Purple Passion. So this is a world that I saw over on the exchange and it's kind of made with fairies in mind and I really wanted to check it out today because I was like, for one, it's not really that big and two, the color really drew me in, like it looks really bright and colorful. So I really need to see what it looks like y'all. Now this world uses every single expansion pack, it does not use any custom content. I'm pretty sure this world is also unpopulated and and I'm not really sure about if you need any store content or not. I don't think so, but I'm not really for sure. But I guess we'll see as we go along. So why don't we maybe just try to start maybe like down here at the bottom and we kind of work our way up. So why don't we go down here to Fairy's Landing? All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Fairy Landing. And I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be this little area right here because this is a houseboat. We can check this out in a little bit. But down here, though, you just have a couple places to sit. There is also like an outdoor like cooking area or grilling area and you just have a couple of these lounge chairs out here and of course right here you do have like a houseboat which let's just open it up to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have like a little living room area over here you also have like a bedroom over here as well so this little glove right here y'all comes with movie stuff so you're gonna also need that stuff pack but moving on over this way though you have like a little area where you can come and sit down i want to say that this bookshelf comes with town life stuff so that's like another stuff pack you'll need moving on over this way you have a little kitchen area right here in the corner and then back Back here you have a nursery and then there's also like a bathroom over here as well with like a little area to sit in the back of the house and then when you go upstairs though you kind of just have like a little place where you can come and sit maybe like a another like living room or like sitting space and then out here you just have a couple of lounge chairs there's a telescope a bar and there's even like a little stereo out here as well but that's pretty much it though for this house okay so why don't we go ahead and maybe go next door to it so this is the pixie sticks amusement park so this is like right next door i guess maybe we'll just start right here so <laughs> Over here though, you have like the water balloon fight station. You have some couple places to sit. Going over this way, you have some of these food concession stands out here. There's a water slide out here as well. Oh, you also have like these little aquarium displays. And there's something like inside of this building. So let's just open it up to see. So when you first come in, you have an arcade cabinet. There is a claw machine, couple wackanome objects. You have like a little place to sit here and here. There's a karaoke machine. You have the bubble blowing machine. Oh, by the way too, y'all, this light comes with 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff. And then these lights right here come with master suite stuff. So those are two more stuff packs that you're gonna need. So I'm guessing you might just need every stuff pack as well as every expansion pack, but I'm not really for sure yet. All right, so going back outside though, you have your love inspector. There is a snow cone machine. So I don't know what this is supposed to be, but let's just open it back up though. So when you first come in, you have like a little kitchen area. So maybe it's like a restaurant or or something like that or like a diner so you have like a little restaurant area moving on over this way though you have like a toy shop i guess yeah so you have like a register so i'm guessing it's like a toy shop or like a gift shop or something like that you have a vending machine and then i guess over here is supposed to be like a movie theater so you have like your big tv plenty of places to sit down in here and then like moving on over this way this looks like a ticket booth so you have like a little booth where you can get tickets and stuff like that. And then when you go upstairs, you have a little place to sit. Oh, this is kind of cool though. So you have like a game console and you have like the TV from Into the Future. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So you have like a little gaming corner. And then over here you have a dance floor, some stereos. You have like a place to sit. Then you have like a bar and an outdoor grill space. So this is kind of nice though. So it's like a really nice multi-purpose lot, you know? So moving on over this way though, you have a couple of these kissing booths down here. There's a hot dog eating stand. Moving on over this way though, you have a couple spring rides, the spinning object from from showtime and then moving back over this way though you have another little outdoor grilling area with some places to sit you also have like this building right here i don't even know what this building is supposed to be but let's just open it up just to see so all the way down at the bottom you just have your bathrooms and then when you scroll upstairs you oh you have like a couple buffet tables and regular tables and stuff this is kind of nice okay so it's like a little outdoor eating space and then like over here you have like another building so at the top of the building you have some telescopes a fire pit some lounge chairs a bar dance floor stereo and then you also have a trampoline and then down below it oh you have a roller rink Ooh, this is nice y'all so this is like a really good amusement park there's like a whole bunch of stuff to do on this one lot <laughs> like you literally have a movie theater on one lot y'all that's kind of cool all right y'all well let's go ahead and keep moving on though so i guess we could go over here now this is the science sports center so let's check this out okay y'all so we're down here at the science sports center so this looks like a castle kind of and it also looks like it has a lot of stuff out here so before we even get on the inside of it you have your broom riding arena over here from showtime so that's kind of cool i don't really get a chance to use this object too much but i want 
gonna kind of start using it again <laughs> but let's just open up the building though so i guess we'll start all the way down at the bottom so when you first come in though you have like a little desk area over here you also have an art easel there's like some into the future objects on display you also have a bathroom over here in the corner and then going back over this way though you have a bowling alley you have a shuffleboard object the foosball table some places to sit there's some tables over here another foosball table and then going back over this way you have like the ski ball object there are some bathrooms over here in the corner there's a juice pong table over here too and then out here in the back of the lot you have a jukebox and then you also have some of these chess tables out here but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so once you go upstairs though you have a big dance floor plenty of tables there's treadmills weight machines there's like a pull-up bar a piano an arcade cabinet this lot y'all is like really good for skill building <laughs> and then like over here you have like a stage with some instruments on it a big tv there's also like a bar over here in the corner so there's like a bunch of stuff y'all by the way these light fixtures right here they come with fast lane stuff so that's like another stuff pack that you'll need and then over here though you have like a little pool area so you have your pool slide pool waterfall places to sit y'all this lot is really nice there's even like a little shower over here in the corner <laughs> all right so now let's go ahead and go upstairs again so when you go upstairs again you have the mechanical bull object there's a time machine over here you have your uh, broadcasting station from university there's golf over here you have these charging pads for the plumb bots a pet bed there's like so much on this one lot y'all and then like moving over here though you have like your bot station it looks like a little workshop over here kind of and then going on over this way though you have like a little science lab so there's just so much on this lot y'all and then when you go upstairs again you kind of just have like a toy box and like a little place to sit over here i guess you can watch tv outside and then over here is kind of empty and i think that might be it for this lot why don't we go over here now this is the charlie rose landing so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the charlie rose landing so out here though you just kind of have like a platform a couple of these picnic tables and then you also have like a fire pit over here but moving on over this way though you have a bathroom there's a grill a couple of those like hot coals dish sims can walk on there's also like a tent this is what the bathrooms look like by the way if you were wondering and moving on over this way you have a couple picnic tables back here and I think that's pretty much it though. So it's probably just like a little like campsite or something like that or like a little park area. You do have a couple of these chairs out here. Oh, there's like a little fairy house. And there's like this really big statue. <laughs> So I guess we could check out these areas next. So right here you have the smuggler's lair. So this is where your criminal career would be. Let's just check out the little area. Y'all, the amount of harvestables on this one lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, I never would have knew that the criminal like warehouse is around here. This is kind of cool though. So you have like a bunch of harvestables. There's like your apple bobbing object right there. You have a money tree that's growing in this world there's even like a couple of those beekeeping boxes behind it now you do have some bathrooms right here so i'll just show y'all what they look like really quick you just have your bathrooms and then moving on over this way though you have like this building so on the inside you have a nectary register so i guess you have like a nectary on this lot so you have like a nectary register you have places to sit there's a fortune cookie machine and then there are some stairs that lead downwards so down here at the bottom you have a stereo dance floor places to sit there's a bubble blowing machine the nectary machine over here moving Moving on over this way you have a gym cut machine drafting table chemistry table so there's just like a lot y'all on this one lot <laughs> and then over here though you even have like a bathroom and you even have like a laundry room so technically you do have a laundromat i guess in this world if you want to think about it that way there's also like a tv in here as well a chess there's like so much on this one lot y'all okay y'all so we might as well just check out this little area over here next there's like a lot now i'm gonna be honest with y'all my game is lagging a little bit <laughs> i feel like this area right here might be the laggiest in the world I think it's just because there's like a lot of buildings and a lot of objects close by so the game tries to render them a lot but this is kind of laggy just letting y'all know but I kind of just want to see what it is y'all like I don't even are these like real buildings or are these like I don't even know but can we just open them up yo they're like all one building there's so much to look at y'all okay why don't we maybe just start over here and we'll just work our way around so going over this way I don't really know what this is supposed to be maybe like a hospital or something like that so you have like a couple of these beds there's a desk you have like some areas where you can sit down over here in the corner so i'm guessing this is maybe like an infirmary or a hospital maybe maybe not over here you have like a stable for horses so you have like your water trough over here you have a couple of these saddles on display and there's like a pewter desk right here as well so this is giving like very much equestrian moving on over this way this appears to be like a restaurant or maybe like a diner or something so you have your food register there's an outhouse 
house you have your sweet treat register over here as well there's also like a fridge so yeah this is like definitely giving restaurant vibes you know moving on over this way though this appears to be like a daycare i guess so you have like a nursery there's some toys and stuff like that in here moving on over this way there's like a rocking chair a high chair you even have like a little martial arts like room over here which is kind of cool and then when you go upstairs though you have like a classroom oh it's like a school maybe like a daycare slash school or something like that okay i see so you have like your podium your desk a drafting table there's also like a bathroom back here too that's kind of nice shot. i wouldn't have noticed that i think like these some of these buildings just have empty space at the top but let's just keep moving on over this way all right so over here in this building though you have like a desk there's like another desk over here not really sure what this is supposed to be um you have a couple of these all-in-one bathrooms over here looks like it could be an inventing room so you have scrap and you have an inventing table and i don't know if there's anything below oh so you have like all your rabbit holes down here that makes a lot of sense y'all so down below you have like your business and journalism over here you have your hospital there's a school and then over here you have your city hall that makes a lot of sense y'all a lot of sense so you have like all your rabbit holes down here okay <laughs> all right so moving back over this way though you have your stylist station there's a tanning booth you have your tattoo chair moving on over this way you have like a spa i guess or like a little lounge space i don't really know you have a couple of these lounge chairs there's a hot tub bone hilda coffin so maybe it is giving like a spa or something i don't know y'all <laughs> but you have like this nice little bed over here in the corner as well and then over here this appears to be an alchemy shop okay so you have like your your alchemy register, places to sit, your magical mirror over here as well. You have your like alchemy station out here in the back. Okay, yo, fairy house, your broom rack is over here too. Right beside it, it looks like a consignment shop. Yeah, it is, it's a consignment shop, y'all. <laughs> like, look at all the different items in here though. This is really nice. And then moving on over this way, I think this is a bookstore. Okay, I, I was gonna say a consignment store, but no, it's a bookstore. So you have your bookshelves, your stereo, little place to sit in the corner. This looks really cozy. There are some ladders, so let's just see if there's anything at the top. So so at the top you have a couple of these arcade cabinets a little place to sit by the tv and then over here you have like a bedroom oh maybe like the sims that work at the bottom live at the top that would make a lot of sense though <laughs> okay so what about this area over here so this looks like a relic store maybe yeah you have like your relics register so this is like a relic store so you have like a lot of different artifacts from you know basically like all over the world china egypt and stuff like that and then moving on over this way so over here this looks like a pet shop okay so yeah it's definitely a pet shop y'all so you have like a lot of different terrariums and stuff like that in here a fish tank i want to say this fish tank comes with high-end love stuff so that's like another pack you'll need and then over here in this little room you have like a model train set some toys and stuff like that you have a domino's table in here there is something above it so at the top oh it's like a house yeah so I guess like a sim lives up here yo is this supposed to be like a church that's right beside it what does it look like from the outside yeah i'm guessing it's supposed to be like a church or something y'all so you have your podium there's a keyboard you have your pews over here in the front and then there's like a little computer desk over here in the back and you have a couple bathrooms there is something above it so let's just scroll upstairs real quick oh th there's actually nothing <laughs> so i guess you can't actually go upstairs and then like right beside it you got a club y'all you got a church and you got a club right beside it what's going on <laughs> okay let's open it up though or i guess like maybe it's just like a bar so you have like your bar you have like places to sit down here over here you have a general store register so you have like your general store a couple of these vending machines in the corner but, and then when you go upstairs though you have like a dance floor flashing lights there's a bathroom arcade cabinet more places to sit so yeah you have like a bar right next door to a church okay <laughs> but i think that's pretty much it for this lot y'all i think we've seen pretty much everything i will say again y'all this lot is kind of laggy so just keep that in mind if you couldn't tell my game is lagging right now so it's a little bit laggy oh that tree right there comes with Katy perry sweet treats so yeah y'all the way it's looking you're gonna need like every expansion pack and stuff pack for this world but moving on over this way you have your fortress teller's wagon so i kind of just want to see what's down here so down here you of course you have the wagon you have a bar there's a face painting tent out here as well there's a love inspector out here as well you have a dance floor and a stereo so this is really nice too oh there's even like a bed out here too so i guess technically your sim could sleep out here if you wanted to all right so now let's go over here so this is the firefly pond all right y'all so we're down here at the firefly pond so over here you have like a little pier section so you have like a little outdoor eating space moving on over this way you have a couple places to sit down there's a paddle boat over here a rowboat of course you are at the pond so you can always have your sims come and fish or swim you know 
or snorkel if you want to. So you have like a pretty big like pond area out here and it looks really cool though. All right, so let's keep moving on. So let's go over here next. This is the Lover's Leap. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like a park or something. Let's just check it out. Oh yeah, so it does look like a little park. So you have your tree house and then you have like a little outdoor eating space. There's a table out here. Ooh, over here you have like some places to sit. There's a stereo, a fire pit. There's a telescope. There is something down below. So let's just go down here really quick. So you have your bathrooms down here and then you also have like these picnic tables and grills i'm pretty sure they're glitched y'all so you might want to move these if you want to be able to like sit down here and eat but yeah you just have like bathrooms down here though all right y'all so that was the last community lot in the world now we can move on to some of the residentials a lot of the houses in this world if you didn't know are underground so i'll start off by showing you where i placed elliot down at so oh my gosh y'all elliot about to go to the beach okay anyway <laughs> so like this is where elliot lives at and you really couldn't tell honestly that's like a ladder sticking out the ground but other than that you probably couldn't tell he lived here so out here though there's an outhouse there's a fire pit a grill a little place to sit um and of course you are like right by the water and stuff like that but once you actually go downstairs though you have like his house so you have his bed there's like a little table over here you have a living room and a dresser not a whole lot down here but it is technically a house your sims can technically live here so you know you have that there's like a couple of more houses over here i believe so let's just check these out yeah so i guess like everywhere you see a trash can in a mailbox so like over here at this house you have like a little outdoor sitting space a little fairy house and then like there's of course a ladder so when you go down here though oh this is nice why i needed to move elliot here then <laughs> <laughs> but over here at this house though you have a kitchen you have your table um over here you have like your living room and then over here you just have a bathroom in the corner yeah i honestly should have moved elliot at this house y'all and then the house next door to it has like a little outdoor sitting space and then down below at this house you have your living room there's a kitchen table bookshelf and then you have a bathroom so it doesn't have a bed but of course if your sim is a fairy they can always just like stay in these little fairy houses over here so you have an option for that you know all right so let's keep moving on the i think over here is like another house i believe so let's just check this one out oh yeah this is like a boat it's literally like a houseboat y'all <laughs> so let's just open up this one so inside of the house you have a bathroom a kitchen space there is something down below so let's go down here first so down here what's going on down here y'all hold on i don't even know what this is supposed to be i guess you just have like two rooms okay so you have like a room here i guess you can like furnish these a lot more so you have like an empty room here and then you just have a room over here with a desk and some places to sit so i guess if you need more space you can always add more onto it and then up here at the top of the house you just have a chest table and then you just have a bedroom right here and then when you go upstairs again you just have like an art easel and a telescope so you can look out at the world all right so now let's go over to this house that's right beside it this one looks really cool too it's like a like a fairy tower or like a wizard's tower or something like that so when you first come into the house though you have a kitchen there's a table over here a fireplace there is something down below so down here you just have a bookshelf there's a room with a pedestal and a table there is something over here in the corner it looks like a display rack and it looks like an alchemy station but i'm so confused <laughs> maybe you have to like gain access to this room or something like that i don't know but over here though you do have a bathroom and there is like a register down here as well i don't know y'all and then when you go upstairs though you have a living room area there's a chest table bathroom so then when you go up here though you just have like a bathroom you have like this armoire and then out here you have a telescope and an art easel and then when you go upstairs again you just have a nursery and then like outside of the house you even have like a little stable section so you can have a horse out here if you want so that's kind of cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and move on over here to maybe this house over here next let's go over here oh this house is really nice too let's go ahead and open this one up so when you first come in you have a living room kitchen area dining space there's a fish tank over here you have like a pool area there's a bathroom over here in the corner and then once you go upstairs you have a bedroom here and here there's a bathroom and then oh you have like this little display right here with these fountains that's kind of cool <laughs> and then when you go upstairs again though you just have like a room so maybe this is like a little greenhouse or something like that and then out here at the top you just have some lounge chairs there, there's a little golf object and then right here you have like a little hot tub these houses are really nice y'all <laughs> oh is there something like back here that we missed let me just go over here for a second y'all i feel like i missed something oh so you have like your fairy arboretum some places to sit out here you have your lunar horoscope item there's a fountain over here as well though but i don't think i've really missed too much though all right so now let's go over to this house next i think this might be the last one so let's just check this one out Ooh, this house is really nice too i like the stone and i like the color of the wood paneling on the outside 
Yo, look at that pink speedboat. Okay. <laughs> but let's go ahead and open it up, though. Ooh, this house is nice. The color scheme, I like it. I didn't think I was, but I do like it. But when you first come in, y'all, you have like a little living room area right here. Moving on over this way, you have your kitchen. And then when you go upstairs, though, you have your bedroom over here. There is a bathroom over here as well. And then up here at the very top, though, you have a bookshelf, a desk you have like a place to sit and then you have a couple of these crowns i don't know y'all maybe this world has like a king or a queen or something and they live in this house i don't know by the way too y'all this world does have a couple of dive lots over here it's like surrounded by sharks whoa i didn't even see that y'all <laughs> that's kind of cool <laughs> but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again this world is called possum's purple passion and i really like it it does lag a little bit especially in this area and kind of a little bit over here though but for what it's worth i do like the world y'all so i'm gonna just leave this one linked down below if you want to check it out but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching <laughs>